His defensive ups and downs, but what he brings to the table on offense, Ruben, is special. Yeah, he's been amazing. But uh, he tweaked it at the end of the season. He tweaked his knee a little bit, and he kind of lost his base. And uh, and we're going to run to the uh, to the video here. And what you see in the early part of, of the postseason, he really didn't have his base underneath him. And you could tell he was swinging a lot of pitches with – and you see the balance off of Quintana here. He just really can't hold his pose. When he's holding his pose, that's when he's swinging well. You see him falling forward, not getting into that good L and using his, his lower half. Now, game one, now he looks a lot more healthy. Boom, he hits a titanic blast, and you see him hold his base. When he's swinging the bat well, it's not necessarily about his hands. He does have the quickest hands in the game. But look at, a, look at his balance right there. Look at the L. So nice. Excellent swing. Then he goes and takes a backdoor cutter off of Mo Musgrove in game three and crushes it to right, to right center. Same thing. He stays balanced. He's fooled on the pitch, but because his legs are healthy and he's strong in his lower half, crushes another one. Now, Luis Garcia, 98-mile-an-hour power sinker. I mean, you got to be a strong man to be able to drive a sinker at, at that velocity out of the ballpark. And look at the little dip. I mean, you talk about having being able to hold the pose and being balanced. Uh, it it reminded me a little bit of uh, uh, of what Mr. October with the Yankees. Uh, uh, Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson. Yeah. 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 I mean, when it, he was it, right, it, that yeah. back knee was basically yeah, on, the ground. on the ground. Almost on the ground. Absolutely. Right? It's really nice to see him be able to, to do that and be healthy because he's using that base and driving that ball. And he led the National League in homers this year. Because he had this slow start, like he mentioned in the playoffs, like you forget, a guy leading off, and, yep. and there's Bryce, and there's Boehm, and there's Real Muto leading off. He led the National League in home runs. He's the most dangerous threat in the in home run wise yes. in the National League this and year. And he sets the tone for this team. And, and Rube mentioned it earlier in the show that little flip to left in the first AB of the game last night after they went down for love. That was. Not something you expect from Kyle Schwarber. You're talking about the home runs. You think about the home runs. But for him to go up and do that, that kind of set the tone like, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. I know I need to get on base right now. That's what I'm going to do. Defense is over shifting me. I'll take it. And then I'll set everybody else up in the lineup. Hoskins, big home run, and then it just trickled from Yeah, me. the Philly fandom wanted to get this guy into the middle of the lineup. Get him back in the middle of the lineup. He's a home run hitter. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing – well, he is he is igniting this team and, and setting the tone right out of the shoot. And uh, that's one of the reasons why he's one of the leaders that he is. And the postseason experience is showing for that's him, too. Huge. He went on some runs with the Chicago Cubs. Sure. We're seeing that.